Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at IWA in Nuremberg. I'm at the Tink Arms booth. We're looking at the Perun X16. This is a really exciting Slovenian rifle. In fact, my buddy Ziga at Polinar Tactical said, James, you've got to head over here, check this thing out. So please, if you don't mind, tell us about it. What is it? Okay, basically, this is an AR type uh, rifle, that, but it takes it to a whole another level. We are, at the first glance, we are doing something for the sporting rifles, but we are also trying to introduce these to law enforcement and other, uh, through other channels. The first thing they would like to say, uh, this is we are holding the 11, 10.5 uh, inch uh, Pink Arms uh, Perun X16, and uh, the system is totally modular. So basically what do we have here? We have a hand guard that is M-Lock compatible. We have upper rail. We have here, I will talk about this thing a little bit later, and we have a classical Air Max, the SCAR uh, stock, and basically there's a lot of things that are happening on the inside because there is a lot more than meets the eye. Basically, what I want to show to you that uh, the, the people in America will love is the simplicity. So basically, we have the lower, we have a lower that is AR-15 lower, right. buffer tube tower is right. removed. Yeah. Uh, but this, everything that is on the bottom is completely uh, interchangeable with AR. This is basically AR lower with a missing tower. So hand grips, triggers, trigger groups, uh, mag releases, safeties. Everything. All compatible All with the AR-15. AR-15. Now look the, 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 the beautiful part. AR stock. And this is everything leads to the, to the rifle. There's no moving parts anymore. The barrel is AR-15, everything. Even when you go to the guts of the thing, you have a bolt AR-15, firing needle AR-15, piston AR-15, gas block AR-15, uh, gas block AR-15, everything is AR-15. So AR-15 is the most accessorized rifle on the market, so you can do whatever you want. You don't rely on the logistic from Slovenia, but you have the parts just about everywhere. Sure, so I, I guess, is this a long stroke piston system then? This uh, is a modeler, something between a oh. short stroke and gas operated, it's a hybrid. And this is the patent that we hold on this gun. So basically what happens, when you get the gases to the piston, to the, yeah. to the piston what happens is it moves just 12 millimeters and this cre creates enough inertia to cycle the whole bolt carrier group, eject and load the new round into magazine. What is the beautiful part? So first of all, we don't have a uh, long mass traveling around the right. rifle, doing kind right. of joking with our recoil. The other thing that we have, the impulse that we have is really close to our shoulder. We have, uh, in comparison with uh, AR-15, you, you can have a folding uh, Right, stock, where You're you can with an AR-15. With you the, can with with the AR-15, you would have a buffer tube, no folding stock. But the best thing about it is these 12 millimeters, after it moves 12 millimeters, the gases are not released into the... Into the chamber. Into the chamber. So we say that air poops where it eats. <laughs> this is not the case. All the gases, excessive gases, are vented out in the front of the rifle. And this gives, uh, from the side of, uh, from the point of reliability, a great advance. So no jams and the stripping, you should never... in the. Uh, in the life of a rifle, you should never strip it deeper than this. This holds for the whole lifetime of a rifle. If nothing breaks, all you do is clean the barrel, and this is done. Peter, if you'll do me a favor, take sure. that apart again. I want to see that operating system one more time. Because if I understand it correctly, and how I'm looking at it, it looks almost like it's got an AR-15 gas tube up front. Yeah, the, 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 the gas tube is also AR-15. Oh, so that is that is truly an AR-15 gas tube. Yep. So you essentially have an AR-15 gas tube that is rerouting the gas up into this piston yep. system. And then 
so it's, it is, like you said, I mean, I guess you described it perfectly. It's like a hybrid piston DI system without the shortcomings of DI because direct impingement would again put the gases and all the fouling directly into the when chamber. I feel, when I feel very cocky, I say that this is the stoner system upgraded and this is a 50 <laughs> to 60 years old system. Uh, and we, do, we took everything that is the best about the AR platform and we try to solve some of the problems uh, that we saw. And it's, been, it's happened in Slovenia. When was this created? When did you guys invent this? Uh, the, this was the process is about four years old, but the first gun, I owned the first gun that Team Arms uh, produced. Uh, it was a prototype, and I bought it like two years and a half ago, two and a half years ago. Have you done any endurance testing of the platform? Yes, we have it. We have uh, some customers that have over 20,000 uh, rounds. Uh, there are some um, videos you can find on the internet uh, proving that. But... Uh, always ready for uh, good feedback and new information. We're still uh, learning, but it's uh, a product ready. Where are these for sale? At the moment, we have representatives uh, in the States. We have. Uh, We're also discussing some additional expansion in the United States uh, that I would not uh, talk too much about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go to internet, you can find it, uh, your supplier uh, in the States. So uh, I can get one of these in the United States now yeah, if I want? Yeah, basically we can. Uh, they do some uh, things about the lowers. I think that uh, one part of the business is just the uppers, and they uh, produce their own lowers. Some of them are 3D printed, some of them are ours. But as I said, if you have a milling machine, you can do it on your own. You just buy the upper. And what is the most important? You can just change the uppers. It's a modular system. Mm -hmm. You can have uh, three different uppers, uh, low, uh, short, uh, 11 inch, 10 inch. You can have 20 inch. You just need to change the uppers. And again, talk to me about the stock. So well, the, the stock is uh, being produced also in Slovenia by Arex. You probably know the mm -hmm. Arex from the, their uh, handguns. Uh, it's nothing. It's a scar type uh, folding uh, stock. But the thing that uh, it's, uh, it's important to talk about, I will not uh, assemble it again, we'll just do it like this so we don't have any issues, is you see that the rise up here, about two centimeters, the shooting, they always say don't put hand, uh, head down. So with the rise up of the Holosun or anybody else, when you put it up, it's there where it needs to be. The other thing, in the longer versions, the rail here is a little bit longer. So you can put an impact here without any problem. You can put the light that goes above to the edge of the uh, muzzle brake so you don't have shadows all over the place when you go to uh, close quarters or something like this. So we thought about many things, but the main thing that is happening is here, here sure. at the brains. And it is really a simple design. This is actually very brilliant. How much does one of these cost if I want to get one? In the United States or uh, in Slovenia or whatever? I mean, you can ballpark me. Well, uh, I work in sales and they say never talk about price, but sure. uh, if you put it high, everybody is really happy for the price. It's not even 10,000 euros. Mm -hmm. It's a joke. <laughs> I, I, I like, can't uh, talk about price. It's not, uh, it's not okay to talk about that's price. That's okay. And that, that's, but, uh, that's I usually. See them, I see them going for about 2.700, uh, 2,700 uh, US dollars. This was all very exciting from Tink Arms. Is there anything else that we need to know about this platform? Well, the one thing that we said, we said uh, we don't have a, we have a non reciprocating charging handle. This is one of the things. In comparison with AR-15 uh, type of guns, we don't have, when you put a can, you basically don't have any, um, any splash of uh, uh, gases, not even on the charging handle, and the charging handle is really awkward when you, when you operate the AR-15. Um, besides that, Nothing. Right. It's so reduced, there. reduced gas blowback because yeah. of the operating system. Yeah. There's no, there's no uh, gases. There's no residue of the um, uh, gunpowder inside. No gems. In comparison with uh, with the uh, father, the grandfather of this uh, gun. If now this is a personal question. If you could make this in any color other than black, what would it be? Pink. <laughs> fucking see I see I knew it I knew it whenever I came over here I was like when I asked the question before I even knew thank you so much no for problem. speaking thank with us about it here. of course and thank you guys for watching our continuing coverage of Iwa stay tuned we're going to be bringing you more